Howdy folks, high intensity interval training workout number two. How we're gonna start this workout again, if possible, little warm up, look at the previous warm up video, just get the body ready for exercise. Make sure your space is nice and clear and we'll get into it. What we'll start with, okay, is a lunge type exercise. If you can get a brush handle, a dowel, anything that resembles something like this, ideally, because what I want you to do is put that in front I just want you to drop down and come back up. So using this helps you with balance, helps you with the stability that we're going to put the weight on that front leg and come back up. So it's a, little, it's a reverse lunge, but we have a lot more weight on that front leg, okay? That really, we don't even need to use that back leg. That's just helping us drop down and come back up. So six reps on each leg. Doesn't really matter which one you start with. Just get going on that, okay? When you're finished that, you to lower this back down. From there, I want you to drop into a kind of a hinge type exercise where we'll go hinge, but we'll stick one leg out behind us and we'll drop down. So what this is, is a single leg walkout. It's kind of a combination of two exercises, the walkout and the single leg hinge. So all you're going to do is drop down, come forward, take the weight in your hands, and then come back up, okay? So that's another five repetitions each side. Take your time with that one. It's a bit tougher, okay, but none of you won't be able for. Following that then, while we're almost in that position, finishing up, I want you down on the floor. I'm just going to do a bird dog. So this is just the opposite of the dead bulk where opposite hand, opposite leg, hold, and come back. Opposite hand, opposite leg, hold, and come back. If you find that one incredibly easy, something you can do to make it a bit harder is same hand out, same hand out, and back. So out, crunch, out, and crunch, okay? Eight reps each side in that one, and that should be fine, okay? What's the next exercise that we're going to do? So it's just some sort of a drop back. So what I want you to do is just lower yourself down into the squat, and I just want you to sit back down, okay? From there, I just want you to drop back. We'll bring our feet up into the air, put our hands out, and I want you to lower your legs down and come back. Now you're going to feel your back arch ever so slightly, but that's okay. I don't want you to go so far that you drop your legs down. I just want you to challenge your midsection, lower your legs down, come back, lower your legs down, and come back, okay? Don't worry too much. If you feel like you're not going too far, once you get a challenge on your midsection, that's okay, all right? From there, while we're down on the floor, what I want you to do is a side plank. So a couple of variations, you can leave your legs over like that, and you can just bring yourself up, pause, lower yourself down, bring yourself up, pause, lower yourself down. If you find that very easy, you can put your legs on top of each other, hand on your side, drive up, and bring your leg up, okay? You can even bring your hand up as well and do your repetitions like that. So again, we're talking 10 reps each side if you're driving up, lower down, or for using that leg variation, okay? Last but not least, the exercise we're going to do is we'll just get some sort of a, a weight, whether it be a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a rucksack, three liter of milk, anything that you can find at home that'll give you a bit of load, okay? And we're just going to do a wood chopper. So this is exercise we have the weight in front, and I want you to twist down, and I want you to go back up into the air, holding that weight up high, and I want you to twist down, pause, and back up into the air, okay? We're talking eight repetitions each side on that, okay? So ideally do all the exercises one after the other. Last but not least, for your kind of finisher exercise, your kind of more high intensity one, simple exercise, kind of a burpee variation just for if you're going to drop down, legs back and up, and stand up. Nice and quick, no jumping or flying up into the air. Just drop down, legs back and quick. As quick as you can do that, ideally, the better, right? If you try not to fall flat on your face, and we'll go for maybe about 30 seconds, so if you have a timer or some sort of a stopwatch on your phone, 30 seconds on that, that'll be the last exercise. From there, take a minute's recovery, and ideally complete the circuit three to five times. Minimum of three, maximum of five, and hopefully that'll give you a workout for about 15 to 20 minutes, short and sweet. All right, thanks.